Hi there, this is Freya from Otherworldly, and I've got quite the packed episode today with a lot of new things to show you, so I'll have to try and remember all the details. I will have to cheat and look in my inventory occasionally. Uh, we have a lot of new things from the horse show, uh, because that's still ongoing, and if you're a Teagle fan, or if you haven't yet become one, it's definitely something you have to visit. Uh, so the horses all have new coats from the texture barn. And then they have these tack slash outfits uh, from Eden's Clutch, which are called Dragonkin. They have these cool horns as part of them, among other things. And then there are new idols from Mithril. Uh, the Bloodstock idols and the Bad Day idols. So I've got one of those on each of the horses. Perhaps one of them is wearing the regular idol. And then I've got myself. Um, most of my clothing is older pieces. It's from uh, Lassitude and Ennui and also Hot Dog. But this fantastic new cloak that I have is from Mithril in collaboration with Raven Bell. And it is absolutely awesome. And it took me ages to decide which color pack to get because there were several really cool ones. Uh, my hair is also a new release from Mithril. Very pretty. And then I have this awesome looking ore hammer from Old Treasures. So we're going to go in and look more closely at all these pieces. Uh, you're gonna get the credits and everything uh, in the post and that's where I will mention where the ev which events they are at because I couldn't possibly remember all of that. We will start with the horses. So first we have my Fjord horse looking very different in a um, roan coat, I believe it was, from uh, the texture barn. It is a chestnut. It is looking very red here in this light. There you get a bit of better sense of what it looks like. It's a very pretty coat. Uh, and as you can see, there are some uh, materials applied on the horse. He's looking a bit shiny. Uh, and he is wearing the gold version of the Dragonkin outfit. Now, to use this one, it is quite high um, in LI. So to attach it to the mesh, you do re need to remove the mane and the forelock. Um, obviously, as you can see, it will conflict with the, the top here anyway with the attachment for the horn and, and the scaling there. Uh, the Fjord horse actually could have had its main um, left on in terms of attachment uh, amounts allowed, but um, it wouldn't look right. And then you have the horn there, so basically you're turning your horse into a little dragon horse, I guess. The horn at the front and the, the horn on the, in the neck seem to be like they're supposed to be integral to the horse. But it's also a tack set, um, a nice fur draped saddle there, very fancy, um, looking great. Uh, definitely a brand that I'll be interested in seeing more from. And the Fjord horse is, he has the regular idol loaded up that the horses come with. Um, they are a little different between some of the breeds, but that's where, that's where he starts off. Then you have my Pegasus, minus wings, wearing the jade version of the uh, Dragonkin set. And you can see that the um, there's different coloring and there's a different style to the horns here. Look up here, I, I love the detailing done here to really make it look like dragon scale or dragon skin. Uh, the jade is very beautiful in the way the materials look, in the way that it's catching the light here. And I thought this um, Bay um, Rabishano, I don't actually know if it's pronounced Rabishano or how it is, but it's a, a coat that has a lot of white hairs without being a gray. Um, you don't actually see the sections with more white hair because they're covered by the tack. Uh, but that is another coat from the texture barn. They all come with options for um, 
my hooves, my eyes, various mane and tail options. So it's not just like one set you get with these. There's a lot of options. And if you go in here, you can see that they have nice detailing for muscle. The hair looks realistic. Uh, a very nice set of coats, I have to say. And the, um, the Pegasus has the Bloodstock Idol loaded up. Which is um, a set of idols that Mithril has converted for the um, the wider range of Teagle pets. I think possibly they were just for the Avatar first or just for the Arabian. But anyway, they are a nice variation to have. Uh... And another one that you can have, of course, is the... Um, uh, Bad Day idols and these I've put on my Frisian and I see now that I have managed to load up another coat on my Frisian. I think I've managed to load up one of the marble coats which wasn't what I had intended to do. I had intended to show another of the texture barn coats but all right, my Frisian is going all out in the fantasy department and I will have to find out exactly what I loaded on him. Uh, he's wearing the Onyx version, which has some purplish uh, detailing on it. Um, goes rather well with this coat, I'll say. As you can see, this one has some really interesting texture um, and materials to it. Uh, the coat I mean, and yeah, it looks very fantasy and it kind of looks cool with this one. And the Bad Day Idols, like you see, they are uh, quite temperamental. He's um, not happy to just be standing around here doing nothing at all. But he's cute anyway, isn't he? Well, oops, I guess we had a little bit of a snafu. Turns out that, yes, I did have the right coat on this horse, in fact. I had the charcoal rubbish on the coat on, as you can see here. Although it looks a little pinkish, but that's because of the light. Um, however, I did have a material supplier from some completely different set uh, on making him look very fantasy. So I fixed that and giving you another look at this coat instead. Um, very pretty. It does look much more grey if you don't have lights on, but sometimes it's fun to show them with lights and effects too. And always being in a very bad mood now. Very bad boy. But anyway, that was it for the coats for the horses and all of that. Uh, time to take a little look at me too. Um, as I mentioned, I have a pretty new hair from Mithril. Oh, sorry, I have a pretty new hair from Raven Bell. Um, this was not animated, but it is uh, a lovely unisex hair, uh, like most of Raven Bell's hairs. And uh, it has a couple of different wear options. Uh, it has um, some add-ons like bangs and so on. Comes in um, sizes, obviously, to, um, for male and female avatars. Has a nice big HUD with colors. Um, I picked something Targaryen-ish because I'm in that kind of mood because of House of the Dragon. So I'm going around with silver hair a lot of the time and this, this one looks good. Um, and as you can see, it didn't quite fit with the base fit here for the cloak, but I have a HUD with some nice options that I'm going to show you for the, uh, for the cloak. This cloak, which is by Mithril and Ravenbell, that's why I stumbled on the, uh, the hair, has um, various animations. And it also has sizes, so you can, in fact, make at least the lower part larger, like this, and that will cover the hair in most situations. Obviously, that is perhaps a little bit bulky, but as you can see, if you've got a body with... Um, more assets, uh, it will work for you that as well. You can also put the hood up or down. If you want to be a little more incognito, works like that. And you have some cool uh, photo poses. 
Let's go through these. Some of those will work great for when you're on the horse, I think. And then there are mirrors of those. For your animations, you can pick ones that will go with a ground sit or a chair sit, a walk, a run, a little more lively, a fall, a hover, and a swim or fly. Um, and then, of course, you have a set of idols, which you can pick depending on how windy you want it to be, or feel you want to your cloak. Very nice. Um, really like it. It also comes with a lot of colors. Now, let me see here. The cloak for the hood. Now, as I said, I went with the cyberpunk hood after much agonizing um, because, well, the cyberpunk has some really nice matte fabrics, as you can see here, and they look great. The jewel tones were a little shinier. They did come instead of the pleather and SFX pleather options with some very nice edgings. So I was very interested in that pack too, but the rich dark red and the rich dark black kind of decided it for me. And I also get sort of a white with the pleather option, um, which can be solid or see-through. I think I will just go ahead and show you that one at least. So here you can see the shine on this, and you can also turn it see-through. So it'll basically be perforated like that. But we will stick with our beautiful matte red, I think. We've also got these neon edgings, so this one will work great for a science fictional setting too. Take our hood down as well. And um, finally, we also have from Old Treasures. Take off this hood. This gorgeous fist warhammer. And I really like Old Treasure as a brand, and they base things often on existing pieces, and they've done so with this, and put great detail into it. I will also be showing a beautiful dress from Old Treasure soon, but I didn't really feel the dress would go very well with the Warhammer. So I put together this outfit instead. And I think that catches you up on everything. Um, but what I will do is also show how this will look on one of the horses as well. So here we have a sense of what it looks like when you're mounted on the Dragonkin tack and also with one of the photo poses to uh, get the cloak out of the way. Obviously riding around like that wouldn't suit so well. Um, you could perhaps put it on um, the ground sit. That's not so bad. So with that it will uh, get out of the way in um, a reasonable way, but I think that the photo pose certainly for a photo would look classier. Um, as you can see, the uh, the idols do have um, some corresponding actions from the rider too. Um, sort of checking what, uh, what my horse is up to and what it is that's annoying him. Um, that, I think, uh, takes care of all the nitty-gritty bits and pieces and um, it gives you a sense of what this can look like together. Oh, he is feisty today, isn't he? <clears throat> I'm not sure he um, he wants me here, but I thought I would of course also do some photos so there will be some of those to go with the, the post and I said that's where you will get all the credits um, and the links to the events where you can put these pick, this piece, pick these pieces up. Um, Everything horse related is at the horse show. Uh, and then it's the engine room and um, the warehouse sale, I think. But you will get all, all the details, no worries about that. That's it for now. And um, I'll see if I can manage uh, another video for um, the horse show or if it will be mainly photos um, for the remainder of the event.